So, where shall I begin? I'm going to begin by saying this. Um, I got this headline from Spears, and it was a recent article on the 10th of November 2022. You probably know what it is. Inverted commas, homeless to 1 billion euro CEO. How Dean Forbes figured out success. What does that mean? Uh, it means what it says, you know, in uh, 1997, we lost our house for the second time, right? So my family were homeless twice. Uh, in 97, 98, it was the second time we lost our home. And on February 28th, uh, 2022, uh, we sold the company I was CEO, CEO of and shareholder in uh, for a billion euros. So <laughs> the headline means, you know, 97 to 2022, homeless. Mm -hmm to a billion euro exit. It's impressive stuff. So you, you were really, at one stage, you personally was homeless? Yeah, yeah, that, that time, um, when, we, when we lost our home that time, uh, there was me and my two brothers, and uh, it kind of broke up the family because in order for my mum and brothers to be rehoused, it was easier if there was three of them instead of four of us. So I went my own way. Um, I was in a hostel, they went into a hostel, and yeah, we were, we were homeless. And what did you learn about being homeless back then? You know, the, the funny thing is, and, a, and like a lot of my early experiences, at the time, right, the way, the way we grew up, without a lot of money, kind of single, single home, uh, single parent family, a lot of stuff happening around us on the estate, a lot of trauma in the family. It's only now as an adult I look back and I think, like, wow, that was, that, that was really, really bad. At the time, I was just conditioned to get through the next day. So we lost our home. It was a little bit like, you know, that sucks a bit. I've got to go into a hostel now. But you just, like, conditioned to get on with it. So I wasn't, I didn't spend, like, days sat, worried and angry and upset about it. It was just like, right, this is the new thing I've got to deal with. Yeah. So I'm um, listening to a few of the other interviews, podcasts that you've done over the last couple of years. Um I didn't realise, but now it makes sense, that you were pursuing a football career. Mm. And unfortunately, but also fortunately, you didn't become best a... Thing, best thing that ever happened. Yeah. Not, I, not becoming a footballer yeah. the best thing that ever happened. So you was at Crystal Palace, am I right in saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you ever regret not becoming not a premiership all. footballer? Not at all. Well, not at all. I, I don't think I would ever have become a, a, a Premier League footballer. I, I was okay, I was good. I don't think I would ever played like at the top level. And frankly, I've done much better financially in the business world than I think I ever would have done in football. Yeah. So, so I don't regret it. The best thing was failing early, actually, at football. Because I had friends who came out of the game at 27, 28, and now you've got to start your career at 28 and you've got a girlfriend and kids. When I failed at like 17, 18, I could start life. So I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. What you learned in football, though, as an athlete, mm. to where you are right now, coming out of three or four companies, big exits, transferable mindset, skills, traits. Tell me about that. De yeah, de definitely. But again, at the time, when I was 17, like playing football, it was just having a good time. Right? You, you're training with your mates every day. You're having it. For me, I was having a laugh. I was the king of banter. Like I'm a very funny guy. Everyone will tell you. Um, so, so I wasn't. I wasn't as committed to it as some of my friends were, and they went on and got the careers their commitment deserved. Later in life, looking back, yeah, I, I learned the value of preparation. I learned the value of living the discipline in order to get the outcome. Uh, I learned the value of hard work. I learned the value of having a good team and what a good team looks like and what you can achieve with a good team versus what can happen to a, a good team when one bad person or one person who doesn't fit enters that team. So tons of, uh, tons of transferable skills. I would say the main one is in sport, and we were talking about this before, it's kind of the, the only thing that counts is the victory. Right? And that, I think, has been really helpful for me in business, that the only thing that counts is the outcome we came for. Uh.